What's up guys? On this episode of Repair Geek, I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on your 2.8 liter Duramax diesel in your Chevy Colorado or GMC Canyon. Alright, so the first thing you want to do obviously is get the vehicle up in the air. You may be able to slide underneath it and not have to jack it up, but I have a lift so I'm going to use it. The oil drain bolt is a 15 millimeter. Once you got your oil drained out, go ahead and put your bolt back in. Go ahead and tighten the bolt up. If any of you guys are actually curious, the torque spec for the oil, oil drain bolt is 18 foot-pounds, otherwise known as snug. So I'll take you guys up to the top side of the engine where the oil filter is and we'll go ahead and get that taken out. All right, so back on the top side of the engine, you have one of these wonderful, wonderful cartridge style oil filters. This one takes a 28 millimeter, or excuse me, 27 millimeter socket. I'm gonna have to get a bunch of rags. All right, so you're gonna reuse the cap, obviously. You wanna take this O-ring off. The filter, the, the new filter you get should come with a new O-ring, so get a little screwdriver behind there, pick that out, pop your filter in, put the uh, cover back on. Not a whole lot to it. that. Go ahead and take your new filter, set it down until it seats. Just like that. Put your cover back on. Once you get the cap back on, the torque spec on the cap is 25 newton meters. It's actually marked on the cap. I wasn't sure what that was off the top of my head. I had to look it up. It's 18 foot pounds, just like the oil pan drain bolt. So a word to the wise, these caps are plastic. So be mindful when you're tightening this back down. Don't go hog wild on it. Just snug it up, just like you do the oil pan drain bolt. Uh, they do sell replacements on Amazon. I'll link them down in the description for you if you do break it, but just be careful. It's not that big of a deal. 
As far as capacity, the truck should take six quarts. I'm using uh, Pennzoil Euro L motor oil. It is Dexos 2 approved, 530. Fire it up real quick and then we'll check the oil level. All right, so once you get the oil level all straightened out, come inside the truck, turn the key on. Yes, I know my hood's open. First thing I do is I always reset my trip. And then I'll come down to my oil life, which is at 16%. And reset that as well. To reset the oil life, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit the center button here, wait for the beep, and it'll reset to 100. That's the same procedure on how to reset the fuel filter life, so make sure you're on the oil and not the fuel filters when you go to reset that. All right, guys, that's what I got. Changing oil in one of these is basically no different than changing oil in any other modern car. Um, the main reason I shot this video is I have a new camera set up, I have a new microphone set up, so I was more or less just testing this kind of stuff out to make sure that my voice is gonna sync up with the video and the picture quality is good and all that stuff. So for those of you that are curious, I have a GoPro Hero 7, which is the newest GoPro that came out two or three months ago. Um, the only thing I don't really like about it so far, and I haven't done a ton of playing around with it, is if you look at the outsides of the field of view, they're kind of fish-eyed. Everything's kind of distorted at the outsides of the frame. Um, I'm not sure if there's any way to completely eliminate it with one of these GoPros, but on the settings that I found, you can greatly reduce it, but it never really goes away. So something I may look into in the future, hopefully the audio is better for you guys as well. I know this, this room kind of uh, echoes pretty bad. I didn't expect it to echo nearly as bad as what it does. Um, but for the time being, this is the best I can do. Uh, hopefully I'll uh, get some free time on my hands where I can go through and try to soundproof the room and reduce the echo and all that stuff. But for now, thanks for watching guys. As always, if you like the video, hit like, and if you want to see more content, hit subscribe.